In this episode, we continue sailing and exploring the islands of Galapagos, surrounded by all types of fish, and we have whales close by. But first, this is me, Kim. There is Bart, and here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33-foot silver tranquility. In the last episode, we showed you San Cristobal and all its wildlife and what we think makes Galapagos so special. We are heading to Floriana, an island that is 60 nautical miles from San Cristobal. It just opened for cruisers, so we want to check it out. It is a small island with only 150 inhabitants. What are you doing, Bart? Oh, we've got some really big fish on Luke. Oh gosh, what is it? I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. It is huh? very strong. I don't want a shark. This is the first time we have this strong fish. Why are you laughing? Yeah, on the other line. Is, there's also a fish on the other line. I really do like fresh fish, but I don't like catching fish. You are not allowed to fish in the bays, but when you cruise between the islands you can fish and as you can see there is a lot. A big tuna! A big, big tuna! A really big tuna, but this is way too No! It's good! Okay, the you never caught a big fish like that, right? No. So what happened? Uh, I think I pulled it, uh, I waited too long. So I pulled it out of the water and then he snapped off the hook. So we didn't lose the lure. He just snapped off the hook. So lucky fish. Yeah, that was a very lucky fish. We got so big, Kim. It was really big. And you are lucky because you caught two. Yeah. But the other one is also one. I think it's similar size, must be. And I think it was a, a school of tuna. So I threw back the lines in the water without any bait on them and without a hook. All right. Zit hij aan het haakje? Now would you look at that? Dit maai. Trapped. Yeah. For the attachment line. Yeah, just uh, where I normally put on the hook. This <laughs> one <laughs> back uh, because he has no damage. There was no hook. Hook. It was just this little thingy that he caught. <laughs> I caught it without a hook. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! <laughs> but we've got this big tuna, so the mahi would be too much, even though we really do like to try the mahi taste because we never. <laughs> he got never one. got a high mahi. Well, now we did. The biggest tuna we ever caught. Skipjack, but a different size than we normally have. 
This, this is a good good size for us for like two days of meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got so much. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody who really loves this. Mm. Arrived in Floriana, a little bit of Roly and Gritch, but a beautiful sunset, a nice sashimi and steered fish and pleasant company what seared. better day <laughs> seared oh seared oh seared tuna and pleasant company what better way to end this um, sailing day punch 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 So our guide is uh, going and express the lunch we want to have. From a tip from other cruisers, we booked a tour around Floriana. It was only the three of us and a really big truck. We go around the island to visit the fresh water supply, pirate caves and of course the tortoises. And it includes a lunch. <laughs> The temperature here is actually quite good. It's uh, not that hot. It's a bit humid. There has been some rain. Guy uh, guide explained us that there is uh, more rain. We are in the rain season now. So it's very green. We found another tortoise. Um, the tortoise is here. The big ones are not the original ones from Floriana because they were eaten by the pirates. Um, but they found a original Floriana one on one of the other islands. They probably drifted on some stuff to another island. So they collected their babies and they put them here on Floriana Island. That's also why you saw the wall from coral because I want to keep them here and contain them so they have a little less limited space so they can see how they grow so the smaller ones are actually the original ones from Floriana from back in the day and uh, yeah let's see this tortoise we found on the road
incredible island. Now we uh, come out of the forest and we go into this, oh, it looks like tunnels of rock. For the door, for the animal. No. Animals. Exactly. Not in so if I'm correct, they made these door slots in the rock. So they could barricade it and kept the animals like cow, pork. The Pirate Capes were also home to the first settlers, the family Whitmer. Their offspring still lives on the island. We got a few postcards which we will send to granddad and grandma of this. So curious when they will arrive because it's posted on a traditional way when tourists come from a country they can take a postcard with them and post it in the country the postcards needs to get. Very close to our boat. Our boat is over there. And there is the supply boat. It comes here twice a month with rice and all the products that the island doesn't have. Um, so the island has 150 inhabitants and they have got electricity, 10% of solar panels and the other 90% is of a generator. Um, also the fresh water comes from the top of the mountain. Um, it's filtered because it goes through the lava rock and they've made a pipe system so it can go to the village and then each family has got dates where they've got 30 minutes of time to get fresh water and store it in their own big tanks at their houses um, because it's not raining much on Galapagos it's not sufficient so they also have a desalinator like ourselves, so a water maker. <laughs> so they can make uh, fresh water out of seawater. And that's a little extra they've got when the supply is not enough by rain. The tour was nice and Floriana is a beautiful island, but it was very expensive. Our mistake to not ask for a quote because we thought we knew the price, but that was only if you travel with five or more people. And apparently children are half price. But we did not get this discount either. So it feels a little raw. And this combined with the rolliest anchorage we have ever been. Not a place we would recommend. You and I. You, and I. you come and wake me every night. You say you miss the concept 
We are making ready for our next island in Vlapkos. We say goodbye to Floriana, a nice island but a very, very rolly anchorage. And so yeah, let's uh, get started. So mistakes were made, we thought we could sail with the parasailer but uh, the wind angle was uh, too much upwind for the parasailer so that didn't work out. Um, and also we didn't encounter this counter current, we've got one knot against us and I mean it's uh, it's eight to nine knots of wind so that's, that's okay for sailing because we are making five knots beam reach. Um, but with one knot counter current we go four and that's just uh, too little. So yeah, uh, now we uh, have the engine on and uh, just motor sill to get the speed up a bit and um, because we really want to be in the anchorage uh, with the daylight still. This was amazing, we had so many jumping mantas around and as icing on top, wheels so close in front of our boat. It was terrifying and amazing at the same time. We're approaching Isabella and the anchorage, yeah, we can see it now but it seemed to be really small with a lot of reefs. So you have to go make a loop around it, you can't go straight in and navigate uh, with your eyeballs to not hit a reef. But it's well protected if you get far in enough. We have arrived in Isabella where we have another clearing procedure. It is short with the same questions as in San Cristobal and after 50 minutes we are good to go. Well this was it. If you have any questions please let us know. And for now goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.